the main problem of catchment hydrology is um, to be able to predict the hydrological response uh, for a given climate. And with hydrological response, we mean uh, given a certain amount of rainfall that we can measure, how much of that rainfall will run off, how much of that rainfall will infiltrate, and how much of it will ev evaporate. And we, we, can, we understand that very well at the local point scale, but we have no ways to investigate that at very large scales because of the heterogeneity of the landscape. And so the main problem of catchment hydrology is to come up with methods that would allow us to uh, observe or measure or estimate the, um, uh, the fluxes I just talked about uh, at those large scales. Catchment coevolution is a recently ter coined term that uh, relates to the time evolution of a catchment and all of its properties, including soil, um, landforms, the vegetation distribution and composition, and as well as um, the, the hydrological response that is a function of that coevolution. When you understand how catchments coevolve in time, then depending on the time scale of your prediction, um, you can uh, make predictions by zooming in at different time scales. Like if, if you're interested in what's going to happen in 50 years, you need to understand what the response of the ecosystems is going to be under the differences in the drivers. Um, if you're interested in what's happening in, in the next thousand to ten thousand years, you will have to maybe be able to understand how soils and vegetation co-evolve and, and also landforms. So depending on the time scale of your prediction, you basically will be able to um, zoom in on the important processes. There is already a collaboration, I'm proud to say, and we will definitely uh, build stronger uh, connections with uh, the University of Arizona and the Institute of Engineering here at UNAM um, by uh, submitting uh, joint proposals to international funding agencies or local agencies where we can both be successful and get our own our, our research funded. But also I think there's great potential in exchanging students and researchers between the institutions so that we can learn from each other and uh, work together on common problems. And today's lecture and the response it received gives me great uh, optimism that you know, we are ready for doing this. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy to be here on the occasion of the 60th anniversary of the Institute of Engineering and um, many congratulations and I hope uh, the next 60 years will be as su successful as the first 60 years and we will be uh, somehow at the University of Arizona be uh, a little component of that success.